good morning, everybody, on this sunny but very cold and windy day. We've got some great books today. We're going to be talking about our emotions or how we're feeling. So uh, very first, before we get into our books, I have a fun thing, and it's called I Look in the Mirror. Miss Kristen brought her Hello Kitty mirror. And this is how this song goes. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a happy face smiling at me. Can you do a happy face too? Where's your happy face? Nice job. All right. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a sad face looking at me. Everybody do a sad face. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see an angry face looking at me. Everybody put on your angry eyes like the potato head in Toy Story. I'm angry, I'm so angry. I look in the mirror and what do I see? I see a surprised face looking at me. Where's your surprised face? Oh my goodness, what's happening? It's a big surprise. That was fun. All right, here's our very first book and it is called The Color Monster. And this is by Anna Linus. It's a story about our emotions. This is The Color Monster. Today, he woke up feeling confused, and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. There's all of his different colors, and they're all jumbled up. He doesn't know which one to be. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. These pages are a little sticky. Oh, look, she's got him by the hand and she's going to help him try to figure it out. What a good friend. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue, like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. This is anger. It burns like a fire and is hard to stamp out. When you're angry, Life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take your anger out on others. You just want to throw it like he's throwing his anger out there. But I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. We call it scared. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows, but I can help you find your way. It's the sticky page again. Ah, this is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light as green leaves swaying in the wind. When you're calm, you, bring, you breathe slowly and deeply. 
<sighs> you feel at peace. Now you can rest, Color Monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? I'll separate it out. Uh-oh. I see you're feeling something new. You look different, Color Monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? Oh, he's all pink and he's got hearts. What do you think he's feeling? He's probably feeling loved because his friend took such good care of him. Oh, what a wonderful story. All right, second song. Here we go. I have feelings, so do you. Let's all sing about a few. We get happy, we get sad. We get scared, and we get mad. I am proud of being me. That's a feeling to you see. I have feelings, so do you. We just sing about a few. Let's just do the feelings for a minute. We get happy. How do we do happy? Yay! We get sad. We get scared. Oh no. And we get mad. Arr! It's fun to do a mad face sometimes. Okay, next book. And it does talk about being mad. Well, kind of mad, almost to mad, almost to angry is grumpy. When you wake up and you just don't feel right, sometimes you can be a little grumpy. And this is about Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. Let's see why the monkey was grumpy. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, oh, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. I don't know if bananas can be too sweet, but I guess it's possible. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But, but look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. You're grumpy, me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. <gasps> then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. Ha 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 ha. 
You should take a nap. You should eat old meat. Or some honey. Ah, oh, that sounds better. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! Shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Ouch. Are you okay? Asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll really feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. Oh, it's nice to have a friend to sit with you when you're feeling a little grumpy, even on a wonderful day. All right. Let's sing if you're happy and you know it. Here we go. It's going to be a little different. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. Oh no! If you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. Oh no! If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. Oh no! All right, our next book is called I'm Bored. Who's ever been bored before? Sometimes things just don't seem fun and you feel blah, and that's when you're bored. I'm Bored by Michael Ian Black, illustrated by Debbie Ridpath Oak. I'm bored. Bored, blah, so bored. Potato? What am I supposed to do with a potato? Ow! I'm bored. You want to do something? Sure. What do you like to do? I don't know. I like flamingos. There are no flamingos around here. Well, that's disappointing. I'm bored. How can a potato be bored? Because I have to hang out with the kid. Kids are boring. What are you talking about? Kids are fun. Prove it. We can turn cartwheels. Boring. And skip. Boring. Or spin around in circles till we get so dizzy we almost throw up. Boring. Kids can play games and do ninja kicks and walk on our hands. See? Boring, boring, boring. You know what else? Kids can imagine stuff. What kind of stuff? Like this, see? Now I'm a famous ballerina. Boring. 
Now I'm a lion tamer with the most ferocious lion in the world. Boring. Oh yeah? Well now I'm a fairy princess with my own castle and dragons and unicorns and stuff. Boring. Kids can swing. Boring. Kids can jump. Boring. Kids can fly. Boring. Kids can do anything. Boring, boring, boring. Boring, 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 boring. Look, she even dressed up like a potato. The potato's not having it. He says boring. How can you possibly think kids are boring when we could do all this cool stuff and think all these amazing thoughts and be anything we want to be? I'd rather be a kid than a potato any day. Arr, I think she's a little angry as she's walking off. Hey, a flamingo! Now we can finally have some fun. And guess what the flamingo says? I'm bored. What a silly book. <laughs> and speaking of silly books, today is Dr. Seuss's birthday. So happy birthday, Dr. Seuss, who's back here on our on our flag, which I, there he is. That's from Cat in the Hat. So I picked a quick book, so I've already done three books, but I wanted to do one really quick. And this is a fun one. It's called The Foot Book. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right. Feet in the morning, feet at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. Wet foot, dry foot. High foot, low foot. Front feet, back feet, red feet, black feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? Slow feet, quick feet, trick feet, sick feet, up feet, Ooh, down feet. Here come clown feet. Small feet, big feet. Here come pig feet. His feet, her feet. Your feet, my feet, fuzzy fur feet. In the house and on the street, how many, many feet you meet? Up in the air feet, over a chair feet. More and more feet, 24 feet. Here come more and more and more feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many feet you meet. Ah, so fun and so silly. There are lots of feet in the world. Lots of different feet. All right, I just wanted to show you guys what we're doing for our craft this month. And this Kristen's head is a little big, but your head will fit just perfectly in this. This is our Shamrock hat for St. Patrick's Day, and I know you're gonna love this. Our leprechaun, Shammy the leprechaun, isn't he cute? He's so fun. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fix his eye. <laughs> now he's just winking at everybody. Oh, Shammy, I'm so sorry. Well, these are the things that come in our craft packet that you could go ahead and pick up at the library. Just go ahead and give us a call or email us and tell us when you're coming and we will have it all ready for you so that you can make the shamrock hat and uh, the little leprechaun. All you need is glue. Obviously use better glue than Miss Kristen did so your eyeballs won't fall off of your little leprechaun, but it's pretty easy to do. There's just a few things to glue on, and in fact, I used uh, tape on the back for my stick to make sure that this that the stick um, stayed on. And the paper for his beard, you just get to rip pieces, also for the, for the eyebrows, and then you get to draw on his cute little freckles and his nose 
and his mouth. That's a lot of fun. I had fun making him, but obviously he, he has to go and have some surgery so I can stick his eyeball back on. So uh, one more word about uh, the books in the library. Speaking of feelings, my books are feeling so lonely. Yes, they're here by themselves. They're with the other books, but if books are just sitting here and they're not being read, they're very, very sad because they would rather be read to a child, just like Miss Kristen read the books to you. So please, please, please think about our books sitting here lonely and give us a call or email us and tell us that you would like to take some of these great books home with you and we will get them ready and Miss Kristen or someone else at the library will run them on out to your car. So thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. I had a great time. I hope that you are having a very fun day today, no matter what you are feeling. Thank you. Bye.